Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got this 2002 Lancer, it's a 2.0, and we're doing a valve cover gasket on it. I got some oil leakage on the sides. So let me show you, especially in the back. I tried to tighten these bolts, but it still leaks. So it should be an easy job. Uh, I think 10, 20 minutes shouldn't be a problem. Couple hoses come off, this comes off. This should pop off. Coils, couple bolts here. And then I think it's got six of these bolts on the cover itself. One, two, three, and then three in the back. One, one in there in the back, and one in here. Okay, let's get into it. So as you can see, my uh, coils are soaked in oil because all this, uh, the valve cover gasket is blown and leaking all the oil inside. Let's see this one, also soaked. See so much oil, wet. Let me go get a rag and make it a little cleaner. So what's important here, you get this old gasket off. I can see it's uh, ripped in some spots and it's squished. So we'll get this out first. It feels pretty dry, old, it's trash. Now we gotta make sure we get it cleaned up where the contact is, where the gasket goes. Get a clean rag, make sure there is no debris, no trash, no rubber pieces, no gasket pieces, it's clean. So we're gonna clean it here and also on the head itself and make sure none of the debris falls inside in there. We wanna make sure it stays out. Get it as clean as possible. All right, all these plastic pieces that were on top of this, uh, the cylinder uh, spark plug, tubes those come off make sure you wipe around it as well and also on the cover make sure you wipe off where these uh, plugs go these uh, the black pieces make sure there is no crap in here it's clean okay so I got that this uh, the edge wiped off clean no crap on it, no debris so now we're gonna take the new cover the new valve cover gasket itself and get it lined up so these, these go back on on this and i can definitely feel the old plastic was super dry but this is softer rubber so it should seal a lot better so these go on the same way you got them off make sure you press them down all the way so they sealed flush now the gasket. It should only go in one way. So get it figured out and line it up. It's uh, nice that it's got the cover got grooves in there. So you just stick the rubber gasket in there and it should stay in there nicely. Make sure you're Kind of gloves, hands are clean so you don't get trash inside as well. So press it down, make sure it seals up, lines up evenly. Now we're gonna line it back up and put the cover on and get it all tightened up. So watch the holes where the six bolts used to be and make sure the holes line up 
and the rubber didn't come out of place it's all the way it's supposed to be so now you're gonna take your screws so i'm gonna go in this star pattern one here and then across and then that way that way and then the sides so you kind of like tighten wheels uh on the lug nuts on the wheel you want to go in the cross pattern make sure they it goes down the same way equally flush of course uh, hand tied first before anything else before using the tools So I looked online if there is an actual torque spec for these uh, bolts. I didn't find one. They just say tighten it by hand uh, and then make sure like it's tight uh, and then go about 90 degrees more. So you don't want to over tighten it. Just be very gentle. It doesn't need much. You don't want to break the, the head or crack anything or break the, crack the gasket or the bolts. So just tighten it um, like that and just snug it up. And you see I'm growing in the star pattern. Make sure the whole thing goes down equally. So I would just go like this. I'm not even giving you much force. We're going to run the car. Make sure I don't see any leaks. And if, if you find any leaks, we can always tighten a little more but just snug it up don't go more than that i guess i had all the oil up in the where the spark plugs are so now i'm gonna try to get a screwdriver or a stick with a rag put it down there and try to clean it all up as much as i can before i put these in seal the oil i'm gonna try to get it out this way if you guys know any better technique leave me a comment so i can know for the future but this is kind of what i do Okay, now I'll put everything back the way it was. And we should be set, good to go. So I got most of the oil out there, out of the, the holes. I think we're good to go. So push this in, push this in, make sure they click. The short wire goes in the middle. Clicking. Okay, now get the small little screws and put them back where they're supposed to go. Double check, make sure we didn't forget nothing. Okay, I think we're set. Now we started, check for leaks. Make sure you wipe off the old leaks and check if it's uh, leaking anywhere else and then you can adjust the bolts, tighten them a little more. All right guys, all done. No leaks, checked out good. Thanks for watching, come back again and uh, we'll see you later, bye.